All right, now, here's the damn deal, all right? I'll tell you the damn deal. I live in Alabama, and I own a damn chicken farm. I got different kinds of chickens. There's all kinds of chickens on my chicken farm. I got chickens. Some chickens are laying hens, and some's for cooking, and and I use a lot for fertilizer. You know, I sell fertilizer. That's how I make my money is off my chicken farm. My chicken farm takes care of everything and pays all my bills, this bill, my power bill, and my, you know, cable and internet bill and stuff like that. And uh, if everybody tell you, if you're going to have a chicken farm, you're going to have to have you a good dog or a couple of dogs to to help you with your chicken farm. That's to make sure that, you know, different stuff, you know, uh, foxes don't run off with your chickens and, uh, you know, like a coon will come and get chicken eggs or kill a chicken or a dog, some other dogs will come up and try to, uh, you know, take your eggs, they'll bust up eggs or take your chickens off. Or So you got to have your good dog. Now, when I got this chicken farm, it's been, I don't know, shoot, I guess I started about 27 years ago, somewhere around 1982, 83, and when I got the, the first dog I had back then was a, a damn good one. He's a damn good chicken dog. He he kept all the stuff away, and we all made money. Everybody was happy. And then, and then he went away. I've had a couple other chicken dogs, but here lately, see, about... I don't know. Shoot, eight nine years ago, I got I got a new. I had to get a new dog because my other one uh, ran off. And uh, he was a good dog when I first got him, but he he got a hold of some damn coons one day. Uh, some coons come down there and messed up a bunch of stuff, boy. Just about ruined my chicken farm. And he got a taste to getting after them coons and. That's all he wanted to do after that, just chase coons. He didn't really care about other dogs or foxes or none of that stuff. It was trying to, you know, put me out of business there on my chicken farm. So uh, I got rid of him. I had him for about eight years. Now he wasn't a bad dog. He just didn't, you know, like I say, he didn't. He focused just on them coons. He didn't try to take care of the other stuff. And uh, so I've just now got me a damn good well, what I thought was supposed to be a good uh, chicken farm dog. And so I don't care. what I don't care what kind of dog it is. I don't care if it's a damn, if it's this breed of dog, fat breed dog, or this, and I don't give a shit. It don't matter to me. Just as long as he's a damn good chicken dog. And uh, this chicken dog, I can't tell you just how bad he's turned out to be so far. I don't think he's a bad dog. He's a pretty good dog, you know. He'll play a little bit. He's fun to play around with. But when it comes down to doing what he's supposed to be doing, he ain't doing it. As a matter of fact, he's got some bad. He don't. He don't. He ain't really been watching the foxes very much. Um, the coons have just, you know, been put on the sideline there. He ain't really concentrating on them coons at all. And instead of, not only does he let other dogs come in and get my eggs and kill my chickens. Hell, I think he's been taking my eggs to these other damn dogs. I believe he's been going up a hill there and having sex with this old bitch dog. Bringing eggs to her. And my neighbor, uh, I think he's got a damn old gay dog. And I think my dog's been hanging around with that damn gay dog, damn bringing him shit. 